Now let me discuss about what exactly you mean by the pharmacokinetics. Now if you take this particular pharmacokinetics, it is the effect of the body on the drug. Right? So it is the effect of the body. Right? It is the effect of the body on the drug. Right? On the drug. And that is called as the pharmacokinetics. That is, what it tells you is, it tells the movement of the drug in the body, through the body and out of the body. Right? So, that is, it tells the movement of drug in the body, through the body and out of the body and out of the body. Now, the pharmacokinetics right, the pharmacokinetics Remember, it is also called the ADME study, right? I'll tell you what exactly you mean by this. Okay, you take the word A. A, it deals with absorption, right? A, it deals with the absorption of the drug. The word D stands for distribution. And M is your metabolism of the drug, right, metabolism of the drug and the word E stands for excretion of the drug, right, the word E stands for excretion of the drug. So remember pharmacokinetics is also called the ADME study as it deals with absorption, distribution, metabolism and as well as the excretion of a drug. Now. Let me first take up about the absorption. Right, let me discuss about the absorption. Now remember, the absorption of the drug into the body, it depends on the several factors. Alright, it depends on the several factors. Now, Remember, only lipid soluble drugs can cross the biological membranes because the biological membranes are also bilipid layer, right? So, remember, only lipid soluble drugs, right? Only the lipid soluble drugs can cross biological membranes. All right, can cross the biological membranes. Now, you see a point here. If the drug is administered by the oral route, it has to cross the membranes of the gastrointestinal tract and as well as the blood vessels and then it reaches the blood. Okay. So, remember, if the drug is administered via oral route, the drug, it has to cross the membranes of the GAT Right, it has to cross the membranes of the gastrointestinal tract and it also has to cross the blood vessels and then finally it reaches the blood. Right, finally it reaches the blood. So, if a drug is administered by the oral route, it has to cross the membranes of the GAT and blood vessels and finally it has to reach the blood. Remember, therefore, it should be a lipid soluble form, right? If it has to cross the membranes of the GAT and blood vessels, the drug whichever is administered should be in a lipid soluble form.
right the drug has to be in the lipid soluble form okay now let me shortly summarize what we have discussed up to here if you take the pharmacokinetics remember it is the effect of the body on the drug that is the movement of the drug in the body through the body and as well as out of the body the pharmacokinetics is also called as the ADME study that is it deals with the absorption distribution metabolism and excretion of the drug you take the absorption it depends on the several factors and remember a point here only lipid soluble drugs can cross the biological membranes so if a drug is administered by the oral route it has to cross the membranes of the GAT and blood vessels and then it reaches the blood so remember the lipid soluble form right therefore it should be the lipid soluble form so continuing with the pharmacokinetics remember the drug might be uh, either in a lipid soluble form or the drug might be in the water soluble form now for example if the drug is a weak electrolyte all right if the drug is the weak electrolyte okay you see here if the drug is a weak electrolyte it is either in the unionized form or in the ionized form right so either it is in the unionized form or it is in the ionized form right or in the ionized form you take the unionized form of the drug remember the unionized form of the drug they are the lipid soluble forms right they are the lipid soluble forms whereas you take the ionized form of the drug ionized form it is water soluble right ionized form is water soluble now a point what you should remember here is when the medium is same that is if the drug is acidic medium when the medium is same that is the drug is acidic and it is present in the acidic medium then the drug can cross the membrane now for example the drug is basic and the medium is also the basic medium then the drug can cross the membrane so a point what you should remember here is when medium in which the drug is same all right when the medium is same remember drug can cross the membrane all right the drug can cross the membrane now from this statement we can find that the acidic drugs can cross the membranes in acidic medium that is the acidic drugs are mainly the lipid soluble in the acidic medium right so from this statement what we can summarize is you take the acidic drugs right you take the acidic drugs the acidic drugs can cross the membranes right the acidic drugs can cross the membranes in acidic medium okay now next point is you see here the acidic drugs can cross the membrane in acidic medium that is the acidic drugs are they are mainly lipid soluble in the acidic medium right so for this acidic drugs the acidic drugs must be in unionized form in the acidic medium i'll repeat again remember from this statement what we can find that the acidic drugs can cross the membranes in the acidic medium that is the acidic drugs are they are mainly the lipid soluble drugs okay lipid soluble drugs they are the acidic drugs now for the drug to be lipid soluble right for the drug to be lipid soluble 
the lipid soluble drugs they are in unionized forms okay so they are in okay they are in the unionized form now exactly opposite is also true for the basic drugs right exactly opposite is true for the basic drugs right exactly opposite is true for the basic drugs now let me tell you one example here now you take the stomach right the stomach it is having the acidic ph so as the gastric ph is acidic right as the gastric ph is acidic therefore within the stomach the acidic drugs are more likely to be absorbed from the stomach now what are the examples of those drugs now for example you take aspirin so aspirin is the acidic drug that is more likely to be absorbed in the stomach because the stomach has the acidic ph so remember as the gastric ph is acidic therefore therefore acidic drugs they are more likely to be absorbed all right therefore the acidic drugs they are more likely to be absorbed from the stomach right and a point what you should remember is now the acidic drugs right they are lipid soluble drugs and lipid soluble forms or lipid soluble drugs they are unionized drugs okay so because these will be in unionized form and they are lipid soluble forms right they are the lipid soluble forms now what is the example here the example is aspirin right the example is aspirin so thus aspirin is more likely to be absorbed in the stomach than morphine or the atropine you take the morphine or atropine remember morphine and as well as atropine these are the basic drugs right these are the basic drugs so these basic drugs they are not absorbed in the acidic medium all right now there is one another important point what you should remember here remember there is never 100% lipid solubility or there is never 100% volume water solubility because the ionization of the drug is never 100% or ionization of the drug is never 0% now if the drug is 100% ionized then it will be 100% water soluble if the drug is 0% ionized then it is unionized form which is lipid soluble so but the drug never will exist in such form okay so a point what you should remember here is there is never 100% lipid solubility right there is never 100% lipid solubility or 100% water solubility or 100% water solubility because the ionization of the drug is never 100% or 0% okay let me shortly summarize up to here remember the drug if it is a weak electrolyte it can exist in either in the unionized form or in the ionized form so when the drug is same the drug can cross the membrane right when the drug or when the medium is same the drug can cross the membrane now from this statement what we can make out that acidic drugs can cross the membranes in acidic medium that is the acidic drugs are lipid soluble in acidic medium for this the acidic drugs must be mainly in unionized form in the acidic medium 
and exactly the opposite is true for the basic drugs. Now as the gastric pH is acidic, therefore the acidic drugs are more likely to be absorbed from the stomach because this will be the unionized lipid soluble forms here. Now the example is the aspirin. Aspirin is more likely to be absorbed in the stomach than morphine or atropine which are the basic drugs. And remember a point here, there is never 100% lipid solubility or 100% water solubility because ionization of the drug is never 100% or 0%. Now within this pharmacokinetics, like we need to remember few concepts, right? We have two terminologies which is called as pH and as well as the other is what is called as pKa. The word pH, it tells you what are the number of or what is the concentration of the hydrogen ions in the medium. Alright, whereas you take pKa, the pKa it is acidic or acid dissociation constant. Right, acid dissociation constant. And this particular pKa, it measures, right, it measures the strength of acid. It measures the strength of acid in the solution. Right, it measures the strength of acid in the solution. So that is your pKa, okay. So pH, it tells you the concentration of the hydrogen ions in the medium. The pKa, it is the acid dissociation constant. It measures the strength of the acid within the solution. Now, you see here, now for example, if the pH and as well as, if the pH of the medium is equal to that of pKa, right? If the pH of the medium is equal to that of the pKa, then remember that then remember that 50 percent of the drug is ionized right 50 percent of the drug is ionized whereas the 50 percent of the drug it is in unionized form right this is when when pH of the medium is equal to that of the pKa, then 50% of it is ionized form and 50% of it is unionized form. Now, now for example, if the pH of the medium is more than that of the pKa, right? So, right, if the pH is more than that of the pKa, now, in such scenario, so what is your pKa telling? The pKa, it measures the strength of the acid solution. And what is the pH telling? It is telling you the hydrogen concentration within a medium. And remember, the pH, it is inversely proportional to your H plus ion. Right? It is inversely proportional to your H plus ion. In the sense, the pH, it can be defined as negative logarithm of the H plus ion concentration. If the pH is more, the H plus is less. If the pH is less, the H plus ion concentration is more in the medium. So remember, if the pH is of the medium is more than that of the pKa. Now what does this tells you? This tells you the medium Right, this tells you the medium it becomes alkaline. All right. So what does this tell here? pH is more. That means the H plus ion concentration is less. So H plus ion concentration is less compared to that of the pKa. What is the pKa? pKa is nothing but it measures the strength of the acid in the solution. So the strength of the acid in the solution is less. So this particular medium it becomes alkaline. Now. Remember, in this medium, for acidic drugs, right, 
for the acidic drugs the ionized form increases the non ionized form it decreases okay so for acidic drugs you take the ionized form it increases whereas you take the non ionized form so this is for the acidic drugs the ionized form increases and non ionized form decreases so non ionized form that is the lipid soluble forms and ionized form they are the water soluble forms now now you take for the basic drugs right for the basic drugs now if you take the basic drugs it is exactly the opposite the unionized form right the unionized form it increases whereas the ionized form right whereas the ionized form it decreases all right so this is when this is when the ph of the medium is more compared to that of the pka all right so that means the medium becomes alkaline so for acidic drugs the ionized form increases and non ionized form decreases and for the basic drugs unionized form increases and ionized form it decreases now you take the another clinical scenario now if the ph of the medium is less than the pka right if the ph of the medium is less than the pka now what does that mean the pka is more that means the strength of acidity in the solution is more compared to that of the ph the ph is less the ph is less means the h plus ions will be more so if the ph of the medium is less than the pka then it tells that the medium becomes acidic right it tells that the medium becomes acidic all right so if the ph of the medium is less than pka the medium becomes acidic the opposite events will happen right the opposite events will happen that is the acidic drugs will be in more the unionized form right the acidic drugs will be more in the unionized form and basic drugs will be more in the ionized form okay so acidic drugs they will be more in the unionized form whereas you take the basic drugs they will be in the ionized form right they will be in the ionized form right so this ionized or unionized fact fraction it completely depends upon the difference between the ph and as well as the pk right the concentration of the drug whether it is in the ionized form or whether it is in the unionized form it completely depends on the difference between the ph and as well as the pka so let me shortly summarize up to here remember the ph represents the h plus ion concentration within the medium and the ph and as well as h plus ion they are inversely proportional to one another that is if the h plus ion concentration is more the ph is less if the h plus ion concentration is less the ph is more and you take the pka it is nothing but your acid dissociation constant it measures the strength of the acid within the solution if the ph and as well as pka are equal then the 50% of the drug will be in ionized form and the 50% of the drug is in the unionized form whereas if the ph is more compared to that of the pka then the medium becomes alkaline right the medium becomes alkaline so in this case for the acidic drugs the ionized form increases and non ionized form decreases and for the basic drugs the exactly the opposite event will happen for the basic drugs the unionized form increases and ionized form it decreases all right next you take the another medium where the ph is less than compared to that of the pka then it is an acidic medium so in this the acidic drugs they will be in unionized form and whereas the basic drugs they are in the ionized form so remember 
this ionized form of the drug right or unionized right ionized or unionized fraction it depends upon right it depends upon the difference between the ph and as well as the pk right it depends upon the difference between the ph and as well as pk now for example and d it stands for difference right the word d stands for difference now for example if the ph is equal to that of pk right the strength of the acid in the solution and h plus ions they are almost same so then what will be your difference the difference will be equal to 0 now in this scenario remember you take the ionized fraction the ionized fraction will be 50 percent right ionized fraction will be 50 percent whereas unionized fraction unionized fraction will be remaining 50 percent right unionized fraction will be remaining 50 percent all right now whereas if the difference between the ph and pka is equal to 1 right that means what the ph is more compared to that of the pka if the ph is more compared to that of the pka that means it's a basic medium right where the h plus ion concentration is less okay so when pH and pK if the difference is equal to 1 right so when pH and pK difference is equal to 1 then one form is 90 percent right one form is 90 percent and the other form is remaining 10 percent Right, the other form is remaining 10%. Now, for example, if the difference is equal to 2, right, if the dis difference is equal to 2, then one form will be 99% and the other form is 1%. Right, the other form is 1%. Now, for example, if the difference is equal to 3, right, then one form is 99.9%, whereas you take the other form, the other form will be 0.1%, okay. So, this is what is your pharmacokinetics, right. So, the drug whether it is in ionized form or unionized form it completely depends upon the difference between the ph and as well as pk if the ph is equal to that of the pk that is when the difference is zero unionized form and ionized form will be almost 50 percent each but if the difference is equal to one one form will be 90 percent the other form is 10 percent and if the difference is two one form is 99 percent and the other form is one percent and the difference is 3, one form is 99.9% and the other form is 0.1%. Now, what are the multiple choice questions for you here? Remember, the multiple choice questions which will be asked is, what are the examples of the weak acids and what are the examples of the weak bases? Now, you take the examples of the weak acids and then the examples of the weak bases. Now, if you take the weak acids, like examples, what we have is barbiturates. Now, within the barbiturates, example, what we have is phenobarbitone. Right, the example, what you have is the phenobarbitone. 
Now, the other examples of the weak acids is like your NSAIDs. Right? Is your NSAIDs. The NSAIDs, they include aspirin and as well as diclofenac. Right? As well as diclofenac. These are also the weak acids. And the other weak acids are examples, they include methotrexate. Right, examples they include methotrexate and then we you have sulfonamides right then you have sulfonamides and the other drugs what you have is penicillins right the other drugs what you have is penicillins so these are the examples of your weak acids now let me tell you which are the weak bases the weak bases they include morphine Right, the weak bases they include morphine and then you have atropine, and then you have amphetamines, right, then you have amphetamines, then you have quinine, and next you have hyoscine. So these are your weak bases, right. So which of the following is the weak acid, which of the following is the weak base that can be asked as a multiple choice question.